It's your boy DJ Sweet Lou in the building, and I'm coming at y'all with another banger. That's right, I'm coming at y'all with another reaction video, and this time I'm reacting to Ben Simmons post game interview after that monstrosity of a performance in game seven. You know what I'm saying? Very iconic where he just had a wide open dunk and decide, nah, I'm going to just go ahead and pass it at Thibel so you can make one out of two free throws. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, and this is coming several days after I dropped my video that I dropped after game five where I said, listen, Ben Simmons must be traded ASAP. So if you, if you guys didn't check that video out, make sure you go check that video out on my channel. It's a banger, I'm telling you. But as for right now, uh, let's get on to the video. So here we have it. Ben Simmons post-game interview, Game 7, Hawks versus Sixers, 2021 NBA playoffs. All right, let's get it popping. See what we got, man. Let's see what we got. That's four games. Also, it can do so in uh, Game 2. Six for 12 from the free throw line. And that's... Look at those stats, bro. Look at those stats, bro. Ben Simmons, fourth quarter of this series, man. Two for two, game one. 0 for 0, game two. 1 for 1, game three. And then 0 for 4, 5, 6, and 7, man. I mean, listen. This is your point guard, bro. This isn't like, you know, a role player off the bench. You know what I'm saying? This ain't even just a regular, like, a glue guy that's a starter. Like, this is your point guard. This is your all-star. This is your quote unquote superstar that you pay thirty million dollars a year, and this is what he gives you, bro. This is what he gives you. Wow. Same time period, so just uh, what is that, Smitty? You said twelve. <coughs> got a lot of explaining to do. Six and six and twelve. So you said eight of those field goals was a three, huh? There's no way. There's <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, shots fired by Smitty. Let's hear from uh, Ben Simmons. I don't know who Smitty is, sorry. Hey, Ben. Um, what, what went wrong for you guys tonight? You know, what what kind of played into uh, you guys struggling to close the game out? Um, I think that we slowed down the pace. Uh, we ain't moving the ball enough. And we ain't getting enough stops. No, you moved the ball too much. That's what happened. You moved the ball too much, nigga. Thank you. Chris Franklin. Hey, Ben, toward the end of the game, there were a few chances that were going out there asking Trey Ben Simmons, stuff like that. <laughs> Do you feel like you played your last few minutes here in Philadelphia? I feel like we just lost game seven. Um, that's about it. Would you like just to remain in Philadelphia? Wait, wait. He said it was a bad game seven, bro. No, my nigga. It was a bad everything. <laughs> Yo, these, these reporters off the rip going on some savage shit, dog. Pardon? Would you like to remain in Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love being in Philadelphia. Would you, you like know, to stay in Philadelphia? The fans are great. Great people. I mean, I'm Philly, man. I expect that. It's Philly. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Marcus Hayes. Man, that's crazy, bro. Ben Doc said that um, there's work to do, and you, you, he and you need to get into the gym. What do you think the work is that needs to be done and, I guess, prioritized? Is it free throw shooting? Is it being more aggressive? Is it perimeter shooting, what is it in your game that you think you need to improve first? I think shit, all of it. You know, all of it. Uh, I didn't shoot well from the line this series. Um, offense. Not just this series, bro. You haven't shot well from the line your entire life. Your entire life. You haven't gone over 70%. Actually, your first year was pretty decent. You did shoot 70%. And then, like I said, you got exponentially worse every single year. To the point where you're shooting 32% in the playoffs, bro. The worst ever. Not even Shaq. Not even Ben Wallace. Not even Tristan Thompson. Not even DeAndre Jordan. Shot worse than you, bro. Let that sink in. 
to me, I wasn't there. I, I ain't doing nothing for my teammates. Um, but there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of things I need to work on. You gave up a dunk opportunity, and I, I, I don't know if you answered this earlier, but you gave up a dunk opportunity right there. And I know you're a pass-first guy, but you're also 6'10 and 240. <laughs> Is there something going on in your head where you just... Yo, this reporter must be a Philly fan, bro. He mad as shit. Talk about you 6'10", 240. <laughs> Yo, he mad as shit. You, you just feel like you can't shoot at some times? No, nah, I just assumed Gallo was coming over my back. Um, and then Collins moved out. And so I thought we just had a wide open dunk. You assume Gallinari was on your back, bro? Can we find out how many blocks this nigga Gallinari averages? Let's 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 take a look, bro. Let's take a look. Danilo Gallinari stats. We're gonna go ahead and see how many blocks this man averages. All right, we are in 2020. 2021. So Gallinari averages <clears throat> 0.2 blocks a game. 0.4 blocks for his career. So he averages 0.2 blocks a game. That means for every five games, he might get a block. One block. So he was scared of Danilo Gallinari blocking his shot. Wow. That's, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. I actually want to look at the play. I actually want to look at the play, bro. I said duck. <laughs> My fault. I said duck. All right, let's take a look at this, bro. Let's take a look at this play. Because he said, oh, come on, stupid ads. All right, let's take a look at this play. Okay. So he said something about John Collins. I John Collins is all the way the fuck over here. So I don't even know why he even mentioned his name. Here's Trey Young. So he must have been scared of Trey Young, honestly. Six foot Trey, little Trey, little ice Trey, little ice Trey. Look at this, bro. He did, he could just lay it up right there. He don't even got yo. So he said because John Collins is out, Thibault had a wide open dunk. Thibault had a wide open dunk. Or you had a wide open dunk, bro. Where's Gall Gallinari is at least four feet away from me. Yo, this man needs to be fired, bro. This man needs to retire. Yo, let's, let's go back to the interview, bro. That's just all I wanted to see right there. Thank you. So let's hear Thank let's hear it again. You can't shoot at some times? No, nah, I just assumed Gallo was coming over my back. Um and then Collins moved out. And so I thought we just had a wide open dunk. Thank you. <laughs> Dave McMenamin. Kid, bro. What? And as a team, you guys have been hovering around contender status for, for several years now. The way the playoffs broke with some of the other favorites already being eliminated leading up to tonight, is, is there any sense of, man, we, we might have blown an opportunity to do something pretty big here? A uh, duh. Yeah, definitely. It's game seven. We, we didn't get past this round, so obviously. Um, it hurts. <laughs> Next, we're going to D-line him. 
This man lucky he's rich, man. He can just go to his mansion. And I'm and just, just curious because cool. obviously we can look at who you are in a regular season and see, you know, what gets you all star and defensive player of the year, but postseason numbers look different. <laughs> Yo, thank you for these reporters keep telling it like it is, bruh. Telling it like it is, bruh. Regular season, you you a whole different person. Postseason, like you just you a bum. So what happens in the postseason that does not allow you to be the same player that helps you get your team to earning a top seed in the Eastern Conference? I mean, I feel like I, I found my guys tonight, which I do do the regular season regardless. Um, you know, with the with the trade, two. So he kind of being sarcastic, you know. He like he trying to brush it off, like, bro, I but found my guys. I got thirteen doms or thirteen assists. It's pretty easy to get thirteen assists when that's all you're fucking doing is passing the ball. That's all I'm saying. Like it's pretty fucking easy. You're playing forty minutes. And you're doing nothing but passing the ball. It's it's pretty easy to get 13 assists. So what does he got to say? I think, uh, yeah, he was terrible. Yeah. Five for 23. Yeah. Yeah, tough night. Um, Trey Young just missed shots, bro. I just keep it a full bean. He just missed shots. Yeah, I don't even think it had little to do with you, to be honest. Offensively, I, I probably didn't do enough. Um, there's a lot of things. You got to go back and watch the game, but there's a lot of things do, that I didn't do well in the series. But do you feel like there's something that is different in the postseason with what makes you perceived to be the player that you are different than in the regular season? No, no, I'm not, not going to let you say that. Um, <laughs> we lost, it sucks. I am who I am. Um, Yo. It is what it is. You know, it's not, it's not easy to win. And it shows, you know. These That's reporters good. are savage, bro. Got finished by Buck. Not easy to win. Mm -hmm. um, he said the worried, Nets got so. finished by the Bucks. Come on, bro. Why are you talking about the Nets and the Bucks, dog? This is your fault, bro. The first thing I'm gonna do is clear my mind and get my mental right. Yeah, get your mental okay. right, please, Thank please. You. Right, that shit is fucked. We'll start with Crystal Sultas. Your mental yeah, fucked. What was the biggest lesson for you, not only about Game 7, but the whole series against the Hawks? And what would you like to change if you have a, a chance to get back in that series? Uh, they got Guillermo. Um, you got to be mentally tough. You can't take games for granted, uh, especially you know in the playoffs. You know, every game matters, every possession matters. All right. Ben, we have one more for you. I'll go back to Marcus Hayes. Mark has been killing and, um, Doc was asked, uh, do you think Ben Simmons will be a point guard here next year? He said, I I, uh, I don't know the answer to that. Would you be willing to uh, to uh, consider a position change to you know be a, be a forward if you stay in Philadelphia or even if you went somewhere else? I'm going to do what I got to do. Uh, and what am I going to get <laughs> Even if you went somewhere else, yeah. Most likely somewhere else, Hayes. Most likely somewhere else. Cause uh, Philly, uh, I don't know. It's a done boy. It's a done boy in there, buddy. It's a done boy. Um, I'm not really. That's not my focus right now. We right. lost game seven. Um, so never get a lot. Never get let the highs get to high and the lows get to low. So for me, uh, shit, more work. Need to get my mind right, and my body right. Next season, do I can control. Thank you. All right, Ben. Thank you, man. Whew. Wow. These reporters were savage, man. I wish I was a reporter. I would have just went in there and pretty much asked the obvious. Like, you know, why are you so naive and oblivious to, like, what you have to do as a basketball player? You know what I'm saying? Like, you clearly know that um, your team is down two points. You could have an opportunity to tie the ball game. And instead, you just pass out a wide-open dunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't take 
you know, an immense IQ to figure out. It doesn't take, uh, it doesn't really take, you know, a special player to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like an average player who's not even in the NBA could understand that metric. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> he got one thing right. He got to work on his mental because his his mental status is just fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know if Philly did it to him or or the other NBA players with the with the lack of respect that they that they have for his offensive game and and the way the defense be set up against them is just like it's just a clear disrespect. You know what I'm saying? The hack of Ben, like all of that adds up to to this just mental breakdown. So it's a lot of things he has to figure out, man. But as far as the video, that's it for the video, man. Um, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We're going up from here. You know what I mean? So help a brother out. You know what I mean? Even if you don't like the video, like, you know, you don't got to like it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Ben Simmons, got to do better, man. got to do better for your next team, man. Because it ain't the Sixers. So DJ Sweet Lou. I ain't quitting on this shit till I'm on top. Yeah. Bear hoes and foreigns, that shit ain't never stopping. Yeah. Better calm your ass down for this block, get you shot. Yeah. Shorty,